Welcome to our Monday Map Mania. We are live from Nashville, Tennessee, outside of Nashville and, and Franklin. We had a little bit of technical difficulties and hoping that this video is going to run through as we're going to go through it again. We're out here for our state national, or state, I don't know why I keep saying national, state um, pre-K conference. And so we have some really great things to share with you of things that we shared in our sessions. And so our title is Making Math Easy in Pre-K. And so I'm going to share some things that we're going to be talking about tomorrow with um, the pre-K and looking at numeracy. A lot of times with preschool students, a lot of times we're trying to get them to have one-to-one -one correspondence. And so it looks similar to this. If I were to have a bowl of chips and put out counters, um, preschoolers, I might show them how to count one, two, three, four. When I turn it over to the child to count, a lot of times when they're counting, it's more like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're at six, but they actually only have the quantity of three. And so one-to-one -one correspondence developmentally for preschool students is something that we need to work on in a little bit more of a um, prescriptive way to help them to be more successful. The understanding of this is that one-to-one -one correspondence with your hands and with concrete objects is actually a layer above where some preschoolers are functioning. And so we're going to bring it down to the kinesthetic number sense level where we're going to have kids actually use their physical body to learn how to do one-to-one -one correspondence and then and reintroduce them into the actual concrete object. And so our number line that we have displayed here on the floor is numbers 1 through 10. Um, all of these do not have numbers on them. They're using poly spots that we have on our website or also um, you could get them in a PE catalog. Um, I just use Sharpie marker or Sharpie paint pen to put the um, quantities 1 through 10. The focus here is to try to get kids to build one-to-one -one correspondence kinesthetically. And so we have a screener on um, my website under our free resources that looks to see do the preschoolers in your classroom indeed have kinesthetic one-to-one -one correspondence, which would allow them to have this to be an appropriate level, or do we have a lot of kids that have not yet developed this? And so this level in math is very similar to the level in, um, in reading, such as rhyming. A lot of times we have preschoolers that will say cat, hat, and they see a water bottle, and that's the next thing they say that rhymes with it. And so this is the level of rhyming, but you're thinking of it in the area of number sense. And so as I'm walking on the poly spots, I'm going to show you what it would look like to actually have kinesthetic one-to-one -one correspondence. Um, and then I'll kind of show you what it looks like in most three- and four-year-old preschools. So if I was at the end of the number line and I wanted to walk and I asked the child to go ahead and walk to number six, they would have the kinesthetic one-to-one -one as they're doing it, like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, for each step and each number, I'm counting. A lot of our preschoolers, when we screen them in our school, they oftentimes, when they're asked to walk to six, they look like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, which means their body is not counting one-to-one. -one. Although this level of development is very important with kids who are three and four years old, we really need to take time to have this layer develop because oftentimes this layer in learning goes unnoticed and we try to teach other areas in mathematics, but this layer yet has not been developed. In our schools, we work with students for 10 minutes a day for three weeks and we get them to develop this layer. And so lots of kinesthetic activities in your pre-K classroom are really important. Something like this as a number line, or use, even using floor tape on your tile outside of your pre-K classroom. Kids can do addition, subtraction, missing add-in, lots of centers with gross motor, um, such as using our um, bean bags and a crate. You possibly could use different things with beat competency where kids are doing patterns with their whole body. All of these activities will help develop a child's kinesthetic um, number sense and then once they have that layer developed you can move them into more things um, with one-to-one -one correspondence and bring them into that subitizing layer in learning. So we thank you so much for joining us for our Monday Math Mania and hope you have a few tips that you can find to use that are very easy in your pre-k classroom. We have our websites here at the top. Um, we have my website which is um, SIS, the number four teachers.org. You can go to lots of free resources um, and tap into our different free things that we have as well as my blog. And then we also have Paula's blog, which is kfundamentals.blogspot.com. Kathy Griffin was with us earlier due to our retake. She had a scheduled meeting that she was unable to stay, but she has awesome resources on her website as well at kathygriffinteach.com. And so there's lots of great things you can check out there. We're here with Staff Development for Educators, and they have a website full of great complimentary webinars at sde.com. 
We'll be back again next Monday for our second Math Mania for this series. So we hope that we'll see you um, again and look for advertisements in our Facebook so you can join us. Take care.